The Schlesinger Library is perhaps the world's premier collection of rare and unique archival and printed materials on the history of women and thinking about gender and sexuality in the United States. That means that we document a history of ordinary life, but also a history of tremendous contest. And in fact, our origin story is born in that contest. The library is founded in 1943 when a member of Radcliffe College class of 1898, Maud Wood Park, donates the material she has collected as a college suffragist and then as a suffrage leader in Massachusetts and nationally, working to get American women the vote. It's born in a rights tradition of thinking about the promise of the United States, the people who are left out of that promise, and how they fight their way in, much as Radcliffe College is born in a history of fighting for access to the goods of American life in higher education. Because we document women's lives, that means that we try fearlessly to document a range of intimate struggles, many of which are unresolved still. Let's understand what they're trying to do in this matter of rescission. Struggles over the shape of the family, over the meaning of gender and of gender roles. You want to be all in with love. Control over reproduction, sexuality, children's lives. The Schlesinger Library, like other cultural organizations, is a living series of collections. So the library continues to grow and change and add. Ideological diversity is a vital dimension of building out this web of women's contributions and of thinking about women, gender, family, and sexuality. Whenever we seek collections that go against the grain of our original affinities, right? East Coast, college educated, disproportionately liberal, uh, disproportionately feminist relative to the majority of American women, um, disproportionately white. We need to articulate the value proposition of being in a collection that seeks the completeness of the record that embraces contest and that treats people who come from different sides of hard issues respectfully, that seeks their input on how they describe themselves. But if we're to be truly critical, we have to learn how to question ourselves. Whether that's a trans collection or a pro-life collection. The conversations that result in collections coming here are not easy or fast. I think because the Schlesinger Library was born in contest, born to document a vexed kind of struggle, we're a particularly good example of the relationship between special collections libraries and hard histories. Libraries are spaces that allow people to be intellectually fearless, to dive into stories that they think they know and discover that they had those stories wrong. We don't pick a side in a library like the Schlesinger. We document the full roundness of the American conversation and the way that that conversation travels around the world. Mm -hmm.